Hello friends, uh, we are learning crystallography and in this we have done uh, many many things before in the definition of crystal about uh, crystal and now it is time to learn about the different forms of crystal what are the forms of crystal first of all we are going to know what is a form form is basically just a group of faces what is that it is a group of faces which have same relation to the elements of symmetry there are certain elements of symmetry of crystals and with them and the, the a group of faces that have same relation to the elements of symmetry is called uh, a form or we can say a group of faces which have same relation to the crystallographic axis is called a form so what is form? Form is generally a group of faces that is having a same relation to the elements of symmetry or crystallographic axis. Okay. So now we are going to learn the different types of forms. So the first one is closed form. As the name suggests, a closed form is, is that whose faces enclose a volume of space. Uh, in this, what happens? Okay. In this, what happens? Uh, yeah, the faces and close a volume. Suppose there are three or four faces, uh, for six faces, uh, the cube is having a six six faces and it encloses a space. Next is the open form. In this, what happens? The open form is that whose faces do not enclose a volume of a space in this it does not enclose a volume and it occurs in combination with mean this kind of form occurs in combination with the other forms and its example is prism and the example of closed form is cube okay the next one is holohedral form what is an holohedral form the form in which full number of faces are required for symmetry are present means uh, it is a form in which basically the number of elements the number of elements required for uh, uh, symmetry are uh, present total number okay and in hemihedral what is a hemihedral form hemihedral means half hemi means half so the form in which half only half the number of faces required for symmetry are present is called a hemihedral form and its example is tetra and octahedron tetrahedron and octahedron now uh, the next two one is uh, tetra tetar to hedral form what is a tetar to hedral form the form in which uh, quarter number of faces are required for so symmetry are present means for the symmetry one fourth of the number of faces are required in this form okay and uh, the next one is hemimorphic form what is a hemimorphic form hemorphic form have dissimilar faces about the ends of a crystallographic axis suppose this is a an crystallographic axis so here it might be having square face and here it can be a triangular face so such a structure such form is called uh, hemimorphic form in which um, on the about the two ends of a crystallographic axis we find different different faces what is an enantiomorphic form this is very important so understand it properly crystals which do not possess plane and center of symmetry okay so there are some crystals which do not have the plane of symmetry and center of symmetry contain a form that occurs in two position it contains a form that occurs in two positions suppose one is here and other is here and which which are mirror images of each other and they are mirror images of each other suppose i uh, uh, it is a mirror in between them so these both are mirror images of each other and they do not they are not having any uh, plane or center of symmetry so such forms are called enantiomorphic morphic form okay it means here the lateral displacement means left right will be shown here if he, this is the left and it is the right so here this will be the right and this will be the left portion of that okay just as we see our image in the mirror uh, tetro tetrahedral form i have already told you now simple form and combination form what is a simple form crystal made up of all like faces means uh, a crystal made up of only one type of faces called simple form and a crystal made up of more than one type of faces called a combination form its example is prism and its example is cube okay now symmetry elements we will discuss the what are the symmetry elements there are three symmetry elements plane of symmetry axis of symmetry and center of symmetry what is plane of symmetry plane of symmetry is an imaginary plane that divides a crystal into two halves each of which is mirror image of other if uh, suppose i make a cube here and i cut it from between so the plane that will cut it from between into two halves is called plane of symmetry 
and then the each two halves are the mirror image of each other okay now what is an axis of symmetry it is an imaginary line im means imaginary imaginary line through the crystal about which if it is rotated gives observer the same view more than once in a rotation suppose this uh, a cube and uh, an imaginary line suppose this is an imaginary line that is passing through the cube and when i rotate this cube it gives us same view more than one time in a rotation when i rotate this in one rotation it gives the same view more than one time so such line is called axis of symmetry okay so if the if it gives uh, same view two times in a one rotation then it is called two fold if it gives three three same views in one rotation then it is called three fold if four then four fold five fold six fold likewise okay what is the center of symmetry if each face in crystal is duplicated by a similar parallel face means uh, if each face has its duplicate in a crystal uh, and it is parallel to that face on opposite side it is said to have a center of symmetry so these are your notes